Hey everyone, it's uh, Nate here from over at Soda City Hat Co. Going to do a quick little video with our Refining Color 6090 printer. I uh, got asked about this in Jay's Facebook group today and was one that multiple people asked about. So I uh, went ahead and changed my settings to mess mine up. As you can see, the white and the varnish and stuff are not lining up with the color here. So I'm just going to go over a quick little fix in the Print EXP software on how to fix that and correct it for you so that way you can get your prints looking perfect again. Alright, so to get started, to fix this issue, you're going to head over to the Adjust tab. I have all these head install, step adjust, and whatnot. I fix this through my headspace. Um, depending on which way it's messed up or if it's both ways, you, you'll have to use horizontal or vertical or both. Um, I, I mess mine up so that I have to change everything. So the horizontal is going to be the left to right change of the uh, white and varnish. Vertical will be the up and down. Um, mine came preloaded with the bunch already, so like mine's already at like negative 2,000 something for the white head, which is the H2, and the varnish head, which is the H3. Um, so from here, it's really going to be testing it out. I would do like a 2 or 3 inch square, print it out, make it black, and do your normal spot color for varnish and white. Um, and from each adjustment, you're going to have to print it out on paper or something just to make sure you get it set up properly. So for mine, I already know what I did. So these two, the left and right distance, should match when you do it. Um, so if you change it up here, you need to change it down your right distance. So mine, as you can see, my print is off to the bottom and to the right some. So I already know what I need to change since I, I messed mine up on purpose to change it. So mine to go to the left, this is the H2, so this is the white head. Mine needs to be at 27.76 on both of these. And then my varnish is also in that same exact spot there. So I need to change that to 2776 as well. For me, I actually just did this this morning on my printer. I changed laptops and something was off, so I had to mess with this. Um, so to go from the print being off to the right, to move it left, you need to add to this number. To go the other distance, you subtract, so it would be a higher negative. Um, for my vertical, which is the up and down, as you can see, my white is too low, so it's down. I changed this to 194, so I need to add it back to 184. So to make it go up, I added to it. To make it go down to the lower, you subtract, so that's why it was down low below my color. Um, and my varnish was at 351. So that's also why it was down low. I needed it to go up, so I added to it. So now, if I go print, I should get a good print on everything, which I'll show you right after I run this test. All right, so after I just did my little test, I was just gonna show it off to y'all to show you what my results look like now um, after doing those changes. So, as you can see, I got my white and varnish all back right, all aligned properly, so that way there's no white out on the outside of the color and there's no varnish like off to the sides of the prints and not actually on the print. Um, this is actually something I struggled with at first until I started to understand the settings and played with them. So, you'll have to mess with those numbers some um, and you're going to have to do test prints. I recommend doing a little square like a two inch square maybe or inch square mine's a tiny one since i just have it saved on my computer already um but each time you make adjustments you'll have to rip it and then reprint it and see if you got it lined up um i recommend colored paper or something if you have it that's why i bought this stack of different colored paper so i can see the white and everything but aside from that it's pretty easy it's just adjusting those numbers and figuring out if you need to go up or down for the left and right or up and down for the 
moving the white, the, the white and varnish colors up and down on the printer. Um, but if you have any questions, reach out, comment below, um, and follow my channel if you don't already. I'll be uploading more videos for my fine color printers. Um, and if you have any special requests for videos, let me know and I'll try to get a video made for you.